Alright, hello doers and welcome back. Now it's time for another session of setting up Odoo's IoT box. Now today we're going to dive into connecting the IoT box to your Odoo database via a wired Ethernet connection. Now again, you can also connect an IoT box to your database with a Wi-Fi connection. But we'll cover that in another video, so be sure to check that out as well. Now remember, it's important to connect your IoT box to a secured network that is encrypted from the public. There could be personally identifiable information, or PII for my acronym lovers, passing through that IoT box onto the internet. And we want that information to be secure. Now, we recommend consulting a network specialist when setting up your network infrastructure. With a valid Odoo IoT subscription, remember that your IoT box will host a HTTPS certificate as well. So keep that in mind. All right, Odooers, now that I've installed the Odoo IoT module and flashed my IoT box, I want to go into the IoT module and we're going to select connect in the top left corner. Now, inside of the pop-up box that we see over here, Odoo provides directions on how to connect the IoT box. We can use an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Now today, I'll show you how to connect the IoT box with an Ethernet cable because that provides me with the most stable connection. Now, at first, we're going to want to get our pairing code. Now, to do that, I'll start by connecting my IoT box to my router using a Ethernet cable. So we give that a quick plug into right there. First one's done. Going to go into lucky number seven over here. Boom. Two clicks and we're good to go. All right. Then I also, I need a screen today. So we're going to plug in directly into our HDMI port, which can be found next to the power port where the USB-C was plugged in. All right. And we're perfect. Now, once that you do that, you also want to turn on your IoT box. If it's just a normal power supply cable, it should automatically turn on. There is no on or off switch. This is just because I love these types of little things here. All right. Now, after a few minutes of loading, I can view the pairing code on my display. Now, remember, it will only display for five minutes. So be sure to have any type of place where you could write it down real quick, such as notepads. And remember, it can disappear after those five minutes. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to enter the pairing code into my database, and we're finally going to select pair. Now my IoT box is successfully connected to my Odoo DB. Awesome. Now it should be noted that I need to be on the same network as the IoT box for this to work properly. And remember that. Now when I navigate back over here to the database, open up the IoT module, we can see the IoT box or the Raspberry Pi listed right there with an IP address. Now in this situation, it's worth noting that we have an unsecured local address here. And that's just because we're only testing. But when you have a valid Odoo IoT subscription, a secured HTTPS address will populate and secure your IoT connection. But in our case, let's click into it to see where our installed devices would be listed once that we complete that step. Now, when I want to connect external devices to Odoo, all I need to do is connect the device to an IoT box through Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cable, magic. We turn on the IoT box on, and we look for the device name in the Odoo IoT module or under the devices menu. And that's everything, Odooers. And that's it for this tutorial. Now be sure to check out our other tutorials on Odoo IoT and explore our documentation for more detailed steps. And remember, as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video and go grab a snack.